Hello everybody, welcome back to another video in which we are looking at the Red Cat Creative Server. I have a list of things on my secondary computer here to look at that I was, um, what's the word, I'm, what, what's the word I would want to use? I was, um, I, w I got an email from the admin saying these were some places I should look at. I was suggested to look at. So first off, we have the spawn building. For some odd reason, I didn't spawn here when I first did my first video. I don't know if maybe at some point in the past I had joined the server and I just don't even remember doing it. But needless to say, there's a new spawn building which we are in now. And it's actually very impressive. It's kind of all just hewn out of the rock that surrounds it. And it's really, really nice looking. Nice columns, fire, stained glass windows. It's got everything. Really nice looking place. Somebody obviously put a lot of work into this. Uh, I really like this. I don't even know what you necessarily want to call this. Back to spawn point and library. Uh, I don't think we can get in that room, actually. Or maybe you can because UAEA PVK somehow managed to get in there. I don't remember seeing an entry to that. I did some exploring to kind of get an idea of where these places were. Okay, I don't know how they get in there. But whatever, we're not going to worry about... Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't want to... I wanted to look around up here yet. Okay, so... Um, someplace. Here we are. Okay, so that stairway we just came down was on that side. We kind of walk around this large open area. Stairway going down, we have the Hall of Realms. Hall of Realms is a really handy dandy little place just to do some exploring and sightseeing so we're going to spend some time here actually we won't be spending the time here but we'll be coming back here quite frequently so first off um we have the sky region and we'll go ahead and go there and you just punch the punch the books there and you'll travel right to the location so here we are in the sky region um there's really not too much to do up here other than just really explore. It is all protected, um, so you can't build or anything here. But this is only one of many islands in the sky. So you can find your own and build and have fun. I uh, got a little airlock to go through. It's just a space station. Pretty. I uh, know this isn't even a space station. This is... Maybe it is a space station. I don't know. It's on the planet, though. And I thought space stations generally float in the sky. Ah, we have a ladder to go down. I had not noticed this in my preliminary video. I uh, look around. Uh, so just some rooms. Boring. But yeah, this takes us into one of the mini sky stations. Dust and mountains. Mm-hmm. I actually didn't read any of that, but you can always go back for his fame and read it. Hopefully it'll be legible enough on video. I want to get back to the outside, which I guess the only way to do is to go through this airlock here and pretty much just jump out and to the ground, which I did before and had zero issues. Yay. Um, as you will notice, it's still all protected. So... You can't really do any building here. You can't do any mining. But you can look around. And there's other chunks up here that I'm sh assuming aren't also connected. Um, but yeah, we have a really nice skybox. Uh, it was... I think they actually wrote a mod special for that to change the skybox depending on your altitude. Um, I don't have that information showing. But we are at, I think it was like 3,000. Positive 3,000 was our elevation, I believe. Um, and yeah, and just a nice little asteroid, comet, planet. I don't even know what you would really consider it floating in the sky. A big cloud. I hadn't noticed that thing over there before. Now, I was granted some special privileges. So I have fast, free move, and I actually have... Oh, this is where we start. Okay. And I have no clip as well. That is the only reason I have that is for this video. So do not ask the admins for no clip and any extra privs because you probably won't get them. I was only given them so I could 
explore around a little easier and show off some more of this stuff. So, yes, we have this large sky, and there's more of these floating around up here. I'm not really sure how you get to them if you can't fly to them. I'm not sure, but it's still pretty, uh, pretty neat. So let's go back to the Hall of Realms and go to the next location. All right. So the next place we're going to be looking at is the Red Cat Sky Base. Your way into space. Again, you punch the book and are magically whisked away like magic, which is why it's magically done. This is your way into space. Yeah, it's it's a pretty impressive place. All of these server racks, dude, I'm telling you, I don't know why you need so many server racks to run mine test. Like, honestly, I probably wouldn't want to fly in these guys' spaceships, even though they are very cool spaceships, and we'll see those shortly. But if all of their engineers are just playing mine test instead of, you know, doing whatever a space engineer is supposed to do, I don't know how safe I'd feel in space with them at the controls. We've got these nice little domes so we can grow grass in here. Um, admittedly, the grass would grow out here too. Like, I'm not wearing a space suit or anything. It just adds to the realism. Um, and there's a nice little garden. This isn't really a... Oh, it's weird water. Um, it's not really so much a garden as it is just a place for things to grow. Oh, hey, there's a... I didn't know that. Ah, oh, dude, I can get to all these. Here we have the actual garden with some real food growing. Um, yeah, I had no idea I could visit those from here. Where does this go? Oh, that went to there. Uh, nope, nope. No, I'm lost. And that went there. I want to go this way. Where does this go? This takes me... Oh. I didn't realize there was a doorway there. And we can go lower, but I don't know where this takes me. I was not... I didn't look here before. Okay, so just the lower level doesn't really go anywhere. There's nothing in it yet. Whether or not this is still something that's being actively built, or if it's just kind of staying at that point, I don't know. Um, for some reason, I'm getting some weird glitch on these stairs. I don't know what it is, but they don't always want to let me walk up them. Kind of odd. Uh, but let's go take a look at the spaceships. No. All right. So we got some space rocks. That one's got lights on it. Kind of weird. Um, a couple of circular saws just sitting out here. Another dome so we can have grass. Which, not a door here, but there's a door here. Oh, hey, I didn't read this. It's starting to look a bit tacky on the top of the rock. Perhaps you can fiddle with it. I was trying to stay with the general design, but I don't think it's working up top. But yet your opinion may be different. Hmm. All right. So it's a, a collaborative build. So you got to help people in building it. Again, you'll notice if we look at these computers, these engineers are just all playing mind test. Don't know about those guys. Uh, flagpole. Something looks a little messed up there. With where that's located. I don't know why it did that. Uh, spaceships. I don't think we can actually get to the... Wait, I never was on this before. Oh, it's just another... Just another globe where they can grow stuff. That looks interesting. I'm going to have to fly over there and take a look at that. Um... You know what, rather than following the rules, I'm just going to no clip through because I want to get to these spaceships. These, I couldn't find a way to enter them. This block here is ghost stone. So I don't know if somehow you're supposed to be able to get through into here with the ghost stone, if there's a mess account hooked up somehow. But we have a nice row of chairs. We have all of the amenities in the back here. And then up front... We have space for the captains. Fortunately for us, and I guess everybody that would be on this ship, 
they don't seem to have mind test on their computers so we don't have to worry about them playing games instead of actually flying the ship and then there's wait i thought there was two ships nope just one ship in the bay in the dock the bay whatever um so it's a nice little floating outdoor or uh, outer space rather location i'm going to check this thing out so i'm going to go ahead and turn on fast Okay, not really sure. Just some kind of a a shuttle. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a tractor beam. Tractor beam. It's a flying thing made by Hope. Yeah, I'm not really sure. And I got some stuff up here. Um. Yeah. Some type of a uh, an alien structure. Oh, wait, is that supposed to be like a, a, yeah, it is. Um, it's exactly what it is. It's a pixel art cat with a space helmet on. <laughs> I'm not sure what the big blue tail thing is, but, yep, that's, that's what that is, pixel art cat with a space helmet. All right. Oh, you know what? Let me see if. That's better. Okay, I I don't know if you guys are going to notice it. I noticed it a little bit. The video was looking a little clippy or choppy. I had few volume rate, few vol, few ugh, I can't talk. I had full range view enabled. And that's why it was going slow because I'm in outer space and stuff super far away. I was still trying to load. Okay, so that uh, is this outer space station here. Let's go take a look at the next location. All right, so the next place we're looking at is Mount Rusty, which, according to the sign here, is the main building area, but the book says Mount Rusty. And this is actually... I don't know what that's all about. It's a linking book. I have found that if the book is just empty like this it doesn't link anywhere if there's a picture it links to someplace and this is just um yeah it's actually a really nice looking castle and a few other buildings in kind of the middle of nowhere honestly we have a library there's a mystery room which i want to check out i looked at it before and there's a riddle here that's all there is just this one book the riddle shiny treasure and the darkness waits for adventurous mate to enter the earthen gates first to help is a clump of kelp go to the middle for help with the riddle i'm not sure what that's supposed to mean now i know here we do have a book that links to zero 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 which technically you could consider to be the middle because it it's the zero point everything theoretically comes from off of that i don't know haven't looked into it don't really plan on looking into it but for those adventurous souls it could be something fun to check out uh here we've got some really nice building tips and there's some basic ones here and then we have some advanced tips up in the upstairs on the wall right here which we could read but there's somebody's name on top of it person would you please thank you no no stay away whatever that's when the admins i think he's checking up on me to make sure i'm not causing trouble i don't know but he seems to be following me <laughs> not a biggie though and then we have the library and let's just take a moment to admire the beauty of the ah oh, there he is up on the roof just take a moment to admire the beauty of this building stained glass windows We've got this nice ribboning going on with, I think that's acacia wood, but don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. A lot of circular saw use. That's going to be all of these slanted tiles here. That's all circular saw. You know what? I don't think I was in the library. Again, it looks like a lot of devoted mind test players here. That's just like an inside joke for me because that's the only thing that screen can show. It's either off or it's mind test. 
but I just like to point that out. And then upstairs, that looks pretty empty. You can jump over a little wall there. Again, more, more use of the circular saw for all of these slopes. And then I want to head over here. Um, it's pretty well lit, and that's thanks to these glowing rocks here on the walls. And then, of course, the fires. And then on the outside, you kind of have this nice pathway. Again, more circular saw use for the slopes. And as you will notice in the mini-map, there is pretty much a, a path going around the whole perimeter of it. And then we've got a road going out to an apple tree, and it looks like a road off in the other corner too, but we're not going to bother with those. We were just here to look at pretty much these three buildings, which let's jump over here a little bit. Nice little water feature on that one. Uh, again, a lot of use of the circular saw for these sloped blocks. And yeah, it looks really nice. So something to keep in mind when you're building, there is the circular saw on this server. Which I don't even know why it's called circular saw because it's actually a table saw. But it lets you make sloped bricks and different styles and stuff. So a good, good known to build. Or, I guess, grab out of inventory and use to make other blocks. Because a lot of the blocks you can get with that a machine don't just show in your creative inventory. So, you have to actually use the machine to get them. So, yeah, that wraps up Mount Rusty. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next place. Which we are going to get to by doing Cat Winter. Now, I think this is a command that's available for everybody. But I guess I don't know for sure. It is, yes, and we're going their direction. A castle built in the ice, which is actually really impressive. Um, I can't get through the door seemingly, but you know what? I can just no clip my way right in. And let's just fly up. Let me turn fast on real quick. And just take a look at this. This is massive. Um, I think R, yeah, full view range. Yeah, but it's not loaded yet. I've been having some issues with my internet or just with my test. I'm not sure exactly what the issue really is because some of this isn't loading as quickly as it should. It's not the server at fault. I know that's not the case because my other videos were all perfectly fine. So if on the off chance it is the server at fault, it's just a once off kind of glitch that something's not working right but i think it's i think it's the fault of my internet which i don't understand because i don't think i have anything uploading right now or downloading don't know um but yeah it's just a a big castle in the ice um it looks pretty impressive at the night because of the lighting it's pretty impressive during the daytime too the one thing that does strike me as a little funny is okay we have all this snow and ice kind of encroaching over the wall and then we have water just flowing here and we have this huge chunk of ice here whoops which i just snow clipped through but then we have little puddles of water right here you know it, why isn't it all frozen but i guess it's not a game with real life physics so things don't have to be frozen again a lot of use of the circular saw is it i want to see what it's whoops whoops i want to see what it's really called i think it's called circular saw which technically it's not but let me find out it is called a circular saw but it's actually a table saw circular saw you hold in your hand this is a table saw because it's a table oh well i digress i guess maybe i know more about tools and whoever made that specific mod all right, so this is it just it's an impressive place to look at. It's not really decorated on the inside or anything. It's just a lot of magnificent structures and nice ribboning effects going on with the blue here. I'm assuming whatever this blue node is, it's not supported by the circular saw mod, which is why they're just straight and not slanted. But honestly, it doesn't look bad. You know, it looks like it was meant to be that way. Um, some nice little structures going over for little walkways. Um, yeah, so pretty nice looking place. I suggest you check it out again. I'm not 100% sure if that command's available for everybody, but um, 
Cat Winter will take you here. All right, next on the list is... Um, I wish this was loading faster. I think something's goofy on my end. I don't know. Um, but it's a nice little ancient e village. It's not really so much filled up with, like, decorative items and stuff. I mean, we do have, you know, an obvious dock here and some storerooms with a lot of bottles, some chests. But the more impressive thing I found, and I didn't even know how to get there, honestly. I was just flying around a lot. Whoops, I didn't realize I said no clip on. Well, in that case, let's just go ahead and no clip out. And just go back and admire the beauty that this is. Like, we got all of these stairways going up and pillars and columns and more stairways and stairways upon stairways. And, yeah, we got this thing here. Don't push the button. I don't know what pushing that button is, what pushing that button does, because I did it. And I appeared in the middle of nowhere, seemingly. And then I saw Santa. And when I say Santa, I mean a player by the name of Santa. And I didn't actually see the player. I just saw his name. So I I have no idea. Maybe you go to the North Pole. I'm sure that's not the case. But it made for a good story. Um, again, if this map was loading a little faster. Here we go. We just have a lot of really nice looking stuff. Uh, that goes to Namek, and that goes to the temple. And yeah, it's a lot of stairways. Like I said, it's all very impressive. I don't know if this... Yeah, it is. Well, this might not be the one I had seen earlier, but whoever built this, I mean, they put the columns in, the little archways. It looks... Oh, this... I haven't seen this before. It looks really legit. They obviously put a lot of work into this, and it looks really, really nice. This is this is quality building right here. This is not the stuff I was expecting to find on a creative server. Which I guess is completely my fault for only frequenting creative servers filled with kids that just like wrecking each other's houses and writing swear words. I'm not sure if it's supposed to just end like that. I guess it does. That's kind of weird. Still rather impressive. I'm assuming somehow you can get up to this level. Yep, I must have missed the stairway. Some ladders coming up to this level. I'm assuming ladders going up and up and up until you get to the topmost level there. And we've got this place with a nice little pool. Nice little bridge going over the pool. Just, it's a really impressive place. You could spend quite a while here just exploring. Just going on all these stairways. Uh, I guess you couldn't go on these stairways because they don't reach the ground. They're just to support the roof. Again, impressive. Impressive stuff. A throne room with a water feature flowing through it. Or he's got leaky pipes upstairs. I guess I don't know for sure which. Could be either. Okay, I hadn't seen this either. There's it just there's so much. There's no way I could have seen it all. Definitely worth visiting, exploring, taking inspiration from, like, these arches here. I don't think this is the bridge I was on. Nope, I was not on this bridge just a second ago. Oh, yeah, I remember this. There's stairways in there, and you can get way up here. And then it just kind of ends, but it's a nice point to look out from. Yeah, who are you is definitely following me. Yeah, whatever. It's no biggie. I'm not ruining anything. Just looking around. I'm assuming this is still in the process of being built, and there's going to be, you know, a building here, not just a flat platform. But, yeah, really impressive stuff. A uh, huge shout-out to Ben, I guess, for building this. That looks like probably Ben did most of the building here. I don't know how much of this was natural landscape. I'm assuming pretty much all the ground we see was there and he just kind of carved away at it and built some really really epic stuff i mean like seriously check this out 
if you've never visited the server before, this is enough reason to just for this cool village here. And then there's a ship, which honestly, I am not going to lie. I've seen better ships on this server even. But, you know, whoops, I'm inside of a barrel. Let me out. There we go. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, doesn't look like ships are necessarily his strong point. But the buildings, I'm telling you, these buildings are definitely a strong point. This is top-notch, high-quality, really, really nice stuff. All right, so next on the list is the village of Acacia, maybe? I guess, oh, let me turn this off. It's good for looking at some things, but things like this, it's not. Um, I think that, yeah, I just called it Acacia. Okay, made this. Uh, the three places I want to take a look at, only because when I was exploring, I seen a note someplace saying to look at these three buildings. You have the town hall. Oh, that reminds me. I got to find out what building that was in. Um, with a little waiting room and a bathroom there. Secretary over here with, you know, a little secretary's office. Um, I'm not sure quite what the deal with this is. We got the mayor's office, which I didn't step inside of. But I did take a look at this storeroom over here. Bales of hay. And that's what it is. There's hay in this room. I don't... Why in a town hall do you need bales of hay? I don't understand. Somebody explain to me, please. Uh, we have that. Uh, we've got what looks to be like a bookstore and a pie store here. Which, pretty nice little places. Uh, the pool house. Pool house is interesting. We walk up to it. And the door opens, and we can get in, and we can take a swim in the pool, which isn't even deep enough. Oh, never mind. So it's not even deep enough to actually swim in, but it is. And I guess these two candles provide all of the heat for the pool. Or maybe they make it light up in the nighttime. I'm not sure which. But that was cool that the door is open for you. Because when I first seen it, I was like, well, how do you even get in this place? There's no door. And it told me to check it out, but I can't because I can't get inside. And then I got closer and the door opened. I believe this, the village market, is, yes, village market has a couple good things. We have the Acacia Times. There's some of these billboards scattered out over the place. I wish there was page 11 because I wish I knew what the results of what these people were doing for a Klondike bar were, but I guess we'll never know. And then the bathroom. This is... This is just too funny. I, I had to share this. So we got a nice looking bathroom. You know, all that good stuff. Medicine cabinet. And then we got this remember here. Not washing your hands is the one thing Santa doesn't forgive. Yes, that's right, kids. If you don't wash your hands after you use the restroom, Santa won't forgive you. And we can therefore rightly assume that you will get a lump of coal in your stocking. So please, for the love of... Well, your Christmas presents, wash your hands after using the restroom. And any other time when they get dirty. Uh, tourist info, I think this was... Oh, announcements. Here we go. Um, blah, 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 blah. No, no. Oh, sights to see. Here we go. Uh, the lab, the pool house, city hall. And, yeah, we all have to do is look at the lab yet. There's other buildings here, but we're not going to look at everything. There's just not time. That's why you just get to join the server and do it yourself. A nice little lab. There's really not too much in here. Ooh. Use this when Mew is a bad cat. I'm not going to I'm not gonna press that button. You can do that at your leisure. But because I'm recording a video, I don't feel like getting myself teleported someplace weird. Um... We have a book that'll take you to not the volcano. Okay, you don't know, but we're not checking that out either. Ooh, I do think we'll take a look at this sign over here, though. I have a feeling it might be empty, however. So notice. Dear children and parents, do not worry. The news that we were closed due to health scare was a lie. All of our products are completely safe. All the candy sold on the ground floor is non-toxic and not at all experimental. Kindly regards the strangely mysterious management. This is a candy shop? What? Strangely sweet candy store. I guess it is. Let's take a look. Ice cream. Nice. Chocolate cookies. 
Mmm, delicious. Might not buy you ice to go up here. Oh, well, okay. And what do we have here? Strawberry mint and blueberry laces. It's good to me. I think we're going to go up here, though. Um, okay, so we're just like a storeroom with some extra candies. I was expecting there to be something different. I don't know. Uh, but it's a nice place. Uh, a lot of nice little builds. Uh, roadway system going through and everything. So, again, join the server. Explore. Contribute. What do we have here? We have a school. All right, so lots of fun things. Um, but again, to keep the video short, we're just going to go ahead and jump right to the next attraction that's on my list. Alrighty, so the next place is yet another train line. Now, you might remember in episode one that we looked at a train line that was near where I had spawned. Unless there might be a subway or something down here. Not going to go look at that, though. No time. Um, but here we have a, an above-ground subway with... Nice chairs, um, a lot of use of the circular saw for all these slopes, bathroom on the train. This has got all the amenities. Oh, it looks like there's a second layer here. Snazzy, snazzy. So we got an upper layer. I'm assuming there's a, a lower as well on here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Snazzy, snazzy, snazzy. Um, another bathroom. I'm assuming someplace I can get off. Here we go. Uh, there's a train station as well over here. I actually did not look inside of this train station. So I honestly don't know if there's anything in here. But we'll find out. I'm just going to take a quick peek inside. Uh, we got like a waiting area. Some Coke machines. Spot for the tellers. Looks like this is uh, just a door out back. Some nice, nice lighting effecting going on there. And we're going to head a little north here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and fly myself over here because, oh, this place isn't very well lit. That's too bad. There's, uh oh, let me get off these railways ra railway tracks real quick. I wouldn't want to be crushed by a train driving over me. There is, it's like a large castle. Unfortunately, you're not going to see it very well at all here. But it is really impressive when it's light. Unfortunately, there's no torches or any kind of lights put in here. So it's kind of dark right now. There's really nothing inside here. Just a large, empty building. And now, of course, it's always possible this building is still being built. Gothic House by Wrath. He might still be building this. Don't know. So it's very possible when you visit the server, it could be filled with things. It could have lights. But it's just really impressive. Really, really monolithic and huge and nice stained glass window. Again, a lot of angles and pillars and use of the circular saw. And yeah, it's just really nice. The train tracks, honestly, I have no idea where they go. Didn't follow them. Not going to follow them now either. Again, that's why you get to have the pleasure of visiting the server and exploring for yourself. I'm just here to give you a, a taste. This is like a book report. A book report on a server. Telling you my favorite parts, what I liked, things to expect, but not giving you everything. The idea is that you go and visit this server and explore and build and have fun here. Not just that you watch me on YouTube and be like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wish you would have shown me more. I don't have to show you more. Because this is open to the public. You can go and take a look yourself and see everything you want to see and spend as little time as you want to on anything. Looks like maybe they're planning another rail or something. Not sure. Who knows? Can't say. Let's go ahead and look at the next attraction. Alright, so. Here is... The Forgotten Temple, I guess, because that's what the area is called. It's an empty building. Some kind of gooey, ishy water stuff flowing in there. I don't know if that's safe to step in. Actually, I do. It doesn't hurt you at all. But I don't know what it is. I don't know what mod provides that. Um, so we have this building here. 
just a circle, kind of like an altar in the middle, it looks like. Some green fire going on. Green fire is cool. Uh, it's connected to this other building by this little pathway here. Wait, I did not see this before. A mysterious side passageway. Where does this exit to? Ooh. A dead end? Oh, that's kind of boring. This texture kind of reminds me of, like, Doom. Even though I've never played Doom. But it kind of has that gritty feel to it. Like, there should be monsters in here and, and spooky stuff. But there's not. There's nothing here, so no worries on that. Uh, dirt kind of caved in through the wall and filled it up, but still, it's uh, it's an impressive, impressive build. It's a lot of columns and doesn't really use a lot of angles. It's mostly done just with the columns, but still very impressive. And there's a third building, and just off to uh, the, the whichever direction this is, the positive Z. I don't know. The mini map shows an arrow pointing this way, so. I don't know, is that supposed to be north, quote unquote? Because I remember the discussion about them not make marking the mini map with the north because it's a cubic world, so there technically is no north, south, east, or west. You're dealing with positive and negative, I think, Z and Y values because X is up and down, which is different than most 3D applications, but whatever. Again, I'm not sure if this building is just incomplete or if that's the way it's supposed to look. But we have this one main portion, and then we have these two off on the side that both look to be the same. Uh, maybe they're different, I don't know. Again, I'm not sure if they're complete, because they've got just some columns, but maybe they're supposed to be that way, because they're forgotten and old and breaking and run down. You know, that's possible. Again, visit yourself. Find out why there's a green fire on top of the pillar on this tall mountain you know you have that freedom you can explore and see anything you want to see all right so last but certainly by no means least the highlight of this server and in fact the only reason i even contemplated making this series i mean sure some of this other stuff's been cool but this is just so epic that i when i saw this i knew i had to make this series here in front of us, we have some weird blue pixel art. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. But more importantly, behind us. Oh, it's still not even all the way loaded. Disappointing. We have a giant cathedral. Now, this thing is super huge. And I'm being dead serious. This thing is super huge. Now, I've been told by extremely reliable sources, no sarcasm, like, the most reliable resource you could have on the server because it's the admin. Um, anyway, none of this was done with world edit. Every single brick, every single rail, every single torch, every single one of the pieces on this glass roof was placed by hand. Um, it looks like Stevie, Sandra, Sarah, and Alex and F were all involved in the building of this. And I have got to say, those four are some master builders. Oh, I can't walk through that. Thought I could. Like, this thing is massive. Gargantuan. Super, super huge. It's the reason I'm doing this as the last video, or the, uh, the last portion of this video. It's because this is the highlight. Everything else pales in comparison to this. Like, I don't even know how they did this. This is it must have taken forever, like weeks and weeks on end. All of this glass, every single arched piece here. I was, it's crazy impressive. Um, and that's why I used the picture as the video thumbnail, which you probably saw, and you would have seen what it looks like at night, which very impressive in the nighttime too. It's very well lit. Oh, good. You can't fall off that. Very nice. Um, so, yeah, we got the second layer up there, which is pretty empty. Again, this could still be actively being built, and they're still adding more stuff to it. Um, but, yeah, we got a lot of little tables and chairs and 
books and lights and I don't know if this is supposed to maybe be like uh, what do what do they consider that a a balcony for people because again there's no chairs but maybe it's not done being built yet because here we have like the where the preacher pastor priest minister whatever denomination you belong to and they are referred to would be and then you got some chairs back over here so maybe this is supposed to be for like overflow seating don't know because again there's no chairs but it might just not be finished yet this is clearly a very big project so i can imagine that they're continuing to do improvements on it and make things better but yeah really really impressive um and as you can kind of see on the mini map here they uh pretty much went out and built like a garden around this whole area and there's oh these are all bathrooms <laughs> i hadn't noticed those before place for people to hang coats and stuff um but yeah there's like a garden here with little bridges and lights and some places there's like a a groundskeeper's house or i'm assuming groundskeeper i guess a little outdoor dining area i don't know what that house is but i don't think that's connected to this um let's see yeah here we got the little yeah that's not connected someone just built really close um yeah there's like just little groundskeepers oh actually you can say something uh gardeners except they spell gardener with a j instead of a g very possible it's someone who is not um who english isn't their first language whatever you call those esl english is second like second language i think that's what it's called um so i'm when you got a build that's this impressive i'm not gonna nitpick about somebody misspelling garden kid park with a bicycle jump or is this supposed to be a slide ah uh, it's a slide because there's stairs okay um, equally impressive, if I could figure out how to get out of here, is the underside of this. This whole area is built up on a platform. The platform is supported by pillars. Pillars that light up. Ah, I didn't even realize there was this, but there's a, like a whole ramp thing, kind of, ish, coming off. Or not. Oh, whatever. We'll just jump down into the water here. Here you can see there is a massive underground area that's been built. Super dark. I don't know if it's supposed to be. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, they did like these pillars here, which they put lights in the middle of. So they kind of illuminate down here. I have a feeling there's just something kind of weird with the lighting because the lighting shouldn't be, I don't know. I am using the daily build for my test and I know they just did some lighting changes. So that could be why we're seeing this. Cause I don't think this is what most people would see. But as you'll notice, this whole platform up here was all, yeah, <laughs> it was all placed so they could build that giant cathedral up there. And again, it was all done by hand. No world edit use at all. Which, that's a lot of work. A lot of dedication. I mean, I've built some things. Okay, I don't know why it's getting all jittery. I have no idea what's... No idea what's going on. I've never seen this happen before. Of course, I've been recording for close to an hour, so that could be a problem, maybe. This is going to be two videos. All right, so that's the cathedral. That is the end of the Red Cat Creative server overview. Guys, my final words, the final things I can tell you to make you join the server, if for nothing else... To look at the cool stuff 
it is worth every second of your time. Like, yes, there is going to be garbage builds on this server. Every server is going to have those. But the impressive things I've looked at just in these couple videos more than outweighs the number of garbage that you're going to find. There's so much cool stuff, and I didn't even look at a small percentage of it. There's so much more waiting to be discovered, waiting to be explored, waiting for you to find, waiting for you to take inspiration from, to take back to your own building projects, and to improve. Like, there's just so much cool stuff here. You're doing yourself a disfavor if you don't check it out. So guys, in closing, check out Red Cat Creative. You are not going to regret it. Take my word. Money back guarantee. Yes, I will refund every penny that you paid me to watch these videos, which is nothing unless you're using YouTube bread, in which case I guess you may have actually given me money, which is a problem because I'm not going to know that. Mm, yes. Well, let me just say this and then I'll close. Check this server out. You will not regret it.